Grant Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. And welcome. 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. You believe football season's over? It's all done, baby. It's all done. If you missed it last night, you know, maybe you were spending the weekend in a cave in Afghanistan. (laughs) I think they even saw it, to be honest (laughs) with you. Yeah, they probably did. Uh, The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Kansas City Chiefs 31-9. to Wasn't even close. Fire the cannons, baby. Wasn't even close. Did they fire the cannon at the end? I, I, I can't find it. I saw a couple of tweets from people at the stadium that were saying fire the cannons, and it sounded like they did, but it, I think it was the fireworks. I think they didn't. I think they followed really? the NFL protocols and not firing it at all, hmm. which kind of. Yeah, silly when, once the game's over. Yeah. Yeah, they should have fired him. But, you know, I, I, and since it sounded like they fired him, they did. Okay. I'm just going with that. We'll just did. go with that. Yeah. Yeah. They fired the cannons. Yeah, they did. Uh, not a great Super Bowl, I guess, because, you know, it wasn't real competitive this time. Uh, but Tom Brady with his seventh Super Bowl title. And Seven and three in Super Bowls now. It's not bad. Not bad at all. No, that's not bad at all. <laughs> and. You know, they they kept setting it up as if it's the greatest of all time versus the greatest of today. Well, I don't know. I think he's still the greatest of today based on last night. <laughs> I, know. I mean, Patrick is great. He There's is. no doubt. There's oh, yeah. no doubt about it. Yes. But to, you know, to get the beat down that Tampa Bay defense gave him last uh-huh. night, oof, uh-huh. welcome yeah. to it. Welcome to the NFL, Pat. Yeah. It was the first time in his career he hasn't at least had his directed his team to a touchdown. Yeah, to at least one touchdown. First time in his career, and it was really close. They were really trying to make that happen toward the end of the game too. (sighs) Wow! And then he threw that interception, which killed him. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was it was. I mean, obviously the bad plays killed him, but uh, you know they really wanted to get that touchdown at the end when it was it wouldn't have mattered, right? It didn't matter. They were still going to lose, but it mattered to score the touchdown. Yeah, and they still couldn't do it. Yeah, they didn't want to be touchdownless, right, for the for the game, but they were. So, uh, seven Super Bowl titles now for uh, Tom Brady. He has no intention of retiring. No, he said, "I'll be back." Yep, he's going to play at forty four now. Forty four. Why not? Why not? I mean, the guy's got got no really huge injury to worry about, right? I mean, he's yeah. had no really big jolting injury Mm -hmm. he's healthy uh you know it's it's tough to work out like that every day but he's still at the top of his game yeah few 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 of us still do still do and you know we (laughs) you specimens you well athletic specimens yeah Mm -hmm. i know (laughs) i know i mean why not why not indeed unless you just want to hang out with your family and apparently he doesn't. Who wants to do that? <laughs> Why would you want to go home to Giselle no. Bunchin? Come on now. You know what they say. <laughs> no, I don't know. What, <laughs> you know what they say. What do they say? say? Tell me you, what they say because you know I what, don't you know. know. You know exactly no, what I don't. they say. Yeah, no, do. what do they say? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you, know, you know what they, you know say, what they say about beautiful women. <laughs> First of all, woman. Uh, you know what they say. No, yeah. no, nobody says that except you. Yes, and they do. I, I don't know why you keep saying it because it doesn't make any sense. It sure does. <laughs> so ridiculous. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also, uh, pregame buildup. Did you watch the thirty nine hours of coverage before the Super Bowl? Right. Very little, because I knew that CBS was going to uh, filled with social yeah, justice, and I just so great. I just couldn't. I love, just, I just love me some social justice. I know, me too. Which is why mm-hmm. I thought, you know what? I love it so much mm. that I don't mm-hmm. need that much love in my life. <laughs> really? So, yeah, that's unusual. I know, too. and so Fair. I decided. All right, mm, I no? can't. Okay. I mean, I should have. There's some stuff I feel like yeah. I feel like I should have, but I just honestly couldn't bring myself to do it. Huh? Apparently, um, you know, we don't we don't have equal justice. No, we do well, and uh, we need to. We, know that. we need to. So, and apparently, we haven't had the conversation yet about equal justice. Well, <laughs> so when are we going to I have the know. conversation? I is don't the know. That's kind of the question they're asking. I when know. are we going to finally have the conversation Thank about you. race that we deserve to have? 
Thank you. When will it be? I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess we're all scared of it. I don't know. We, we don't want to face the conversation. <laughs> the only thing we do talk about is race. That's about every it. day. Every freaking day. It's pounded into your face every day. And everything is about race. Absolutely every yeah. single thing is is about race. Has a racial undertone to it. So you, there's just no escape from it. In fact, they what was it they said about football fans now who they don't just come to sports anymore f- for an escape. They come for you know uh, I forget how they put it, but it was their social justice bull crap. What? what? No. No. You've taken no, away don't. our escape now. Yes. No, we're not coming here for your social justice. Nobody's no, coming here for that. Stop. They're begging you to please stop with it. Give us one place where we can just enjoy. Uh, no. Nope. No. Can't do it. No. Can't do it. So they, they have decided for us that that's what we're coming to football for right is uh to escape and uh, and not escape i guess to get slapped in the face with it every single time well we want you to know that at some point you need to really understand that we need to have the conversation yeah and we need you to know if you're white that you're a racist we have to have you know that and understand that if you come to the NFL you're going to know that if you're white you're evil and you're wrong and uh, and you're a racist. Well, even if you don't realize it, mm-hmm. if you go to the games or yeah. if you don't go to the games, you're a racist. Okay, if I if I go to the games, yeah, if you go to the games, or if or I don't, don't go, go to, to the games, game. if you're white, you're mm-hmm. racist. Huh. Period. Okay. Even if you don't know it. Right now, if I watch them on TV or I don't watch it on TV, I'm racist. still a racist. Racist. Yeah. It's a lot like climate change. If it's hot, it's climate change. If it's cold. It's climate change. And if it's about the same as ever, it's climate change. So, <laughs> yep. Climate change and uh, race relations have a lot in common in that way. Yes, they do. So, did you watch the halftime show? I did. With the, weekend? the weekend. Yeah, I thought it was good. I did liked you? it. Yeah, it was like, well, eh. every yeah, single know, song no, sounded was, exactly well, the same. I, I mean, it was. It, I couldn't tell when he changed songs, except that the lights dimmed. <laughs> and then, oh, okay, this is a new song then. Oh, all right. Good. Every one of them sounded exactly like the last. I mean, they're not bad, you know. It was I mean, just, I thought that was, it was eh, the show was good. It was and okay. he spent a bunch of his own money. Seven million dollars. Yeah. What did that go to? Show me the seven million. What the lights? I guess yeah, cost you seven well, million dollars. You can't, you can't dim the lights between songs and not have it cost money. Somebody ripped you off, man. Those masks on the dancers. Yeah, maybe that, that cost seven million dollars. Yeah. I don't know. Something did. Yeah, it was a big. I mean, they, he used uh, you know the orchestra and the dancers and stuff, so that costs a lot of money. You know, bringing in all. Those I kind of feel like the NFL should have footed the bill. I feel like that too. Why did the weekend have to spend his money and on their show? Plus a Pepsi, and right, and Pepsi and the right. NFL. Right, uh, they're the ones making all the money. I mean, I know they don't pay the artists to be there, you know, because they want they figure that the exposure is worth. You know, the artist showing well, up. And no doubt it is. No question. But absolutely. But. <laughs> and the, he must have thought it was so valuable. Of the shows. That he added another $7 million yeah, on top yeah. of it. Whoo-wee. Right. I know. So I, you know, going into the thing. Well, coming out of it. I couldn't name you a single The Weeknd song. I couldn't tell you one song The Weeknd oh, wow. performs. Yeah. No, Could you? Yeah, like I, you can? I can't feel my face is one of them. I mean, that song. Oh, okay. I can't feel yeah. my face. Yeah, yeah that's that a great song. one. That's a great one. I love me some. I, I can't feel my song. face. It's really good. Really. Did he sing that one? Yeah, he did. That was when it was in the in the lights. It's like in the maze. That's when, when, he was when I'm with maze. you, I can't feel my face or yeah, something. It's, it's, I love you so much, I can't feel my face. Well, and a lot of people thought it had to do with uh, you know a lot of cocaine use, uh, which he was famous for in the. In oh, the really? Yeah. Oh. Does he come out of that period? Yes. Good for him. Yeah. Hmm. You know, she don't lie. She don't lie. <laughs> she don't lie. That cocaine. She don't lie. So uh, good for him for figuring out she do lie. She do. She do lie. Uh, all right. What was your favorite commercial? I don't know. I don't either. They weren't, none of them, none of them were that know. great. None of them. 
I don't think. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one that really stood out where I went. Oh, that was good. I liked the Will Ferrell uh, going to Norway with the electric car thing. That was kind of fun. You didn't like that? That was all right, I guess. Uh, yeah, that was. I mean, it was all right, but they're just mo- more ramming electricity down our throats. I know. You know, I don't yeah, know if I, you know that we need. We still need uh, petroleum. Yeah. Oh yeah. Will for sure. But it wasn't. It wasn't a preachy ad. You know, it was a fun ad. So I didn't. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean, have he, a super he, big and he got to be it. himself. You know, which was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So let's go over the top ten. I believe the. Uh, Am I correct in thinking that uh, Cadillac uh, was the number 10 most liked uh, Super Bowl ad? Let's see that if we could. This is the story of a boy with scissors for hands. No, not that one. Edgar, you're going to be late. This one. Edgar scissor hands. Edgar. Mm -hmm. This was an enjoyable commercial. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, that guy's oh. a big actor, right? What's his name? Magnets of opposite poles. Pause it for a second. Anybody know the, this guy's name? Um, one of my daughters, my youngest daughter, that thinks he's the most beautiful man in the world. Oh, yeah. Well, he is. Yeah. He's, he's awful pretty. Is, is he the most beautiful in the world, though? Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it's Timothy. Is it Tim? Ah. I can't remember. I don't know. Timothy anyway. Charlemagne. Yes. Yes. Charlemagne. Yeah. Yep. Let's see the rest of this. <laughs> Magnets of opposite poles can actually. Yo, Edgar! (laughs) (laughs) You made the catch. What do you want? (laughs) Thank you. you. Hey, buddy. Can we stick with the menu? (laughs) (laughs) That meeting would not end. Okay. Oh, oh baby. Oh, you could drive a Cadillac with scissor hands. Nice. That's great. Hands-free but super cruise. He's still me. Oh, so that's the message, I guess. If you have scissor hands, like Edgar scissor hands, <laughs> you can still enjoy a Cadillac. Okay. That's good to know. That is. Good to that know for anybody know. born with that birth defect. Uh, or, I'm sorry, that Whoa. birth uh, capability. Handy capability. I don't, I don't know. In some cases, I like the birth capability. That's yeah, what it is. yeah. In some cases, that that capability would be something like if you worked at a deli or something, you could chop up a lot of meats and stuff and do it quickly. I'm assuming. <laughs> well, he obviously <laughs> was doing it pretty pretty good. But to play football, yeah, yeah, no, not so much. Not as good as we just saw. Uh, then there was the Bud Light commercial at number nine, the ninth most enjoyed. Where's the Bud Light? It's missing. Oh, they brought out all the characters, yeah. Yeah. What a mess. It's like the Avengers yeah. Endgame thing. Yeah. Yeah, this was... I'd see they're all it's pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Post Malone? Saturday. Back to Galagos? Yes, I am. <laughs> all right, Bud Light legends. Let's do this. That's Bud Light. Bud Light. A singer, real man of genius singer. That's kind of all I do. <laughs> I forgot about those. High five. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh no. You hate I to see you, that. I love you, man. You do. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, the Bud Light's back. Nice. Oh, the Bud Light's the back. The Bud Light legend saved the day. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, the real, real men of genius singer was is uh, the lead singer for Survivor. Uh, I think Dirk uh, Beckler, Dirk Bickler, about, something I like that. Anyway, uh, Survivor. Survivors, you know, remember Eye of the Tiger and oh, I mean, I mean, obviously they were huge, man. Yeah, they were big in the eighties, mid eighties. Uh, oh yeah, a lot of big songs for Survivor. 
He's a good lead singer. Uh, all right. 888 Also, at Pat Unleashed on uh, Twitter. Bickler. Bickler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me tell you about uh, keeps.com. You got a million reasons to be stressed out these days, right? Stressing out about male pattern baldness and receding hairlines. Uh, that doesn't have to be one of them. The good news is keeps can help a lot. Uh, keeps offers the same doctor recommended FDA approved hair loss treatment, but they offer the generic versions, which are about half the cost of the brand names. So it's a great deal. And one more thing you're going to love about Keeps, you you can just do this at home. In the comfort and privacy of your own home, from your lazy boy, uh, just go online and answer a few questions, post a couple of pictures of your hair, then a licensed doctor reviews all that and will send you the right hair loss treatment for your situation. Shipped right to your door. You don't have to go to the pharmacy or do any of that. And we'll get you started with a special discount. Go to keeps.com, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Pat and get 50% off your first order. 50% off at keeps.com slash Pat. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. It's true. It is. Right about that. Uh... All right. So also, we heard that the uh, Bud's Wy- Budweiser Clydesdales weren't going to be a part of any of the commercials yeah. this year, and they weren't, I guess. But they sort of were because uh, Sam Adams sort of borrowed them for one of their commercials at number eight. Whoops, your cousin from Boston. I did not see that coming. <laughs> anyway, Sam Adams, Wicked Hazy IPA. Juicy, right? Can we not tell my mom about this? <laughs> I did not see that coming. That's pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Kind of funny. Uh, and number, so that was what? Uh, eight. And number seven, this Wayne's World Uber commercial. It was great. This, this was funny, too. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey everyone, welcome to Wayne's World. Party on Wayne. Party on Garth. <laughs> As a local access show, we want everyone to support local restaurants. But we never manipulate you like the way all these other commercials do. Sure, that's really sad. We'd never shamelessly rely on a celebrity cameo. Right, Cardi B? Yeah, eat local. Eat local. Local eats Wayne's World. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, and the full ad they do uh, in the in the extended version they do the uh, the TikTok, you know, where people they're changing outfits to look like each other and everything yeah. back and forth. It's really, I mean, that wasn't bad. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. again, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Uh, it wasn't uh, terrible. Well, it was borderline terrible. Uh, it was on. The- <laughs> Listen, I mean, you don't like Wayne's World, obviously. No, I liked Wayne's no, World in nineteen ninety three you- or whatever it was. <laughs> Ah, you know, back when we were all in our 20s or 30, <laughs> early 30s, early uh, 70s. Now like that, that I'm, you know, old and crotchety, I'm not a big fan of Wayne's World anymore. <laughs> now, how old is Mike Myers now? That guy's got to be in his 60s, Mike Myers, right? Yeah. Dana, too. Dana Carvey and Mike Myers. I will bet they're both in their early in 60s. The early 60s? Got to be. Mm. Some serious makeup went into the the making of that particular uh commercial 65 dana carvey yep all right <laughs> and mike myers <laughs> mike myers Se- 57 mike's young oh he's 57 yeah, mike was a little baby oh. a little kid all right how about that <laughs> haven't seen him wow, in a dana long Carvey's time 65 yeah that's it's amazing isn't it it's incredible uh all right at number six we had a tide commercial hey you have to wash Jason Alexander hoodie. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. Another one. It okay. looks clean to me. Is it, though? <laughs> and they made me sing this song, too. Stupid head. Oh. Believe it or not, from. Uh, yeah. It's from a TV show. 
Bonnie's American hero, American yeah. something. Sure to get the bugs off the window. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. My face. My mom told me to say I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me back my face. You can't just wear my face. <laughs> that was, that was pretty, pretty cool. weird coincidence that he he's walking through the the crosswalk and there's Jason, Jason Alexander, whose face he's wearing. What are the odds? What are the odds? I mean, astronomical, right? That's amazing that that happened. Greatest American hero. <laughs> Greatest American hero. That's what it was. Yeah. Wow. That uh, brings back some memories. Yes, it sure does. Uh, at uh, number five, I like this one. The M&M's ad. Did you see the M&M's? Yeah, check this out. Oh, yeah. I feel bad for kicking your seat on purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry for mansplaining. That's when a man... I know what it is. <laughs> we should have just told you. I know. Pause it for a second. I... <laughs> ah, ah, of course, we ah. don't have to explain this to our audience, but uh, I love it when he's mansplaining apologizing for mansplaining I know tells her what mansplaining means <laughs> i know what it is. Uh, that's so great <laughs> start this over from the beginning this is great stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh i feel bad uh, for kicking your seat on purpose for i'm sorry for mansplaining that's when a man i know what it is <laughs> we should have just told you it's a boy uh, i wish yeah. you didn't have to hear all that sorry i called you karen that's my name. <laughs> Sorry, your name is Karen. I promise I will not eat any more of your friends. Really? Okay, it might happen one more time. <laughs> okay, what well, might happen one more time. <laughs> that's good. That one's pretty yeah, solid. That's kind of cute, yeah. That's the most solid of the commercials, I think, yeah. to this point. I'm sorry for kicking your seat off. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do it? No. Uh, how about we, you know, don't do that, and then you don't have to apologize okay, for it. Okay, well, here's some evidence. <laughs> uh, and Doritos seems to get in there every year. Uh, here's Doritos at number four. Oh, yeah, this was, this was okay. Lately, I just I haven't been feeling quite like myself. Life used to feel <laughs> fuller. I want to Matthew? break free. Matthew? Some days are harder than others. I want to break he almost gets vacuumed up. I love that. Please welcome Matthew McConaughey. Did you drive here or did you travel by fax? I want to break free. There's got to be a way to get back. I want to break free. This time I know it's for real. Oh, yeah, Doritos 3D, baby. Uh, it'll put him back together there. Uh, yep. Oh no! Oh no! Not inside the machine. Yeah, he should have slipped back out of it before he did now that. Well, well. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. good. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. And a Queen soundtrack never hurts. No, it does. No, it does not. For sure. Uh, all right. And number three, Cheetos. Did you steal my Cheetos again? Oh yeah. No. Just tell him it wasn't you. But I caught you at the counter. Wasn't me. Saw you snacking on the sofa. Wasn't me. You even had him in the shower. It wasn't me. I even caught you on camera. You're the one who grunted access to your snacks. <laughs> Don't talk surprised that you sleep behind your back. You gotta keep tabs before uh. she emptied that bag. Let's review the situation. Orange fingers, red flag. To keep you on stash, you gotta hide it better. If she asks where they are, you say forget her. Never admit to a word. And please don't upset her. And if she keep on snacking, I guess you'll uh. let her. Well, did you? Wasn't me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the first time that's ever worked. New Cheetos Crunch Pop Mix. All right. Number hey. three. I don't hey. know. Hey. Eh. 
Mm. Yeah. Wonder how Demi Moore feels about that commercial. Uh, <laughs> eh. She's fine, especially since uh, is that Mila Kunis? Is that yeah. who that is? Yeah, looks like a young Demi Moore. Uh, a little bit of a resemblance there. Yeah. Uh huh. I'd say that uh, Ashton Kutcher has a type, right? He, uh, there's a type of woman that he he seems to really? gravitate towards. Yeah, yeah. So they seem to gravitate toward him. Yeah, too. they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. And uh, Frida Lay. Number two. Twas the night before. Oh, yeah, we saw this. Oh, right. Yeah, we did. Let's take this up a notch. Twas the night before Super Bowl, and all through Tampa Bay, the Chiefs and the Buccaneers were ready to play. When what to my wonder and I should appear, but the Super Bowl legends of yesteryear. Uh, you still warming up? Eli and Peyton, they're up throwing footballs, snacking on legs, and destroying them walls. His idea, Dad. He he hey, get hey, hey, I don't care. Beast up on them boys, aren't you? Go to bed. Thanks a lot. Catch the ball. Don't be scared of the ball. I was not scared of the ball. Montana <laughs> and Rice relived their old glory while adding Doritos All the fame to too, the Super Bowl story. Hey, hey guys. Eight, then. Just Can I play? Dozen. Brought some mm-hmm. chips? Hell no. <laughs> hey, we're going to take these Doritos, well, though. Come on, man. Get get you, get get you, man. You I didn't play you guys in the Super Bowl. Let's go my shot, Joe. Come, come on. on, we're friends. Look at that. Oh, you guys are unbelievable. Ah. When up in the attic there arose such a clatter. It's called the Immaculate Reception. It was the Immaculate Pass. It was below the man's ankle. Easy catch. You couldn't make that catch. Brash on Bettis caused the snack table to shatter. Oh, I told you it wasn't that easy. I told you. Not just. Away to the window, Dion ran in a flash. He tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Kickoff is coming. The teams are ready. Both hope that their season will end in confetti. So get the Doritos. You guys are all right. And get the Tostitos, pour salsa, pour queso. Get the Lay's and the Cheetos. Now snack away, snack away, snack away, y'all. Because Super Bowl's here, and we about to ball. So happy Super Bowl to all, and to all a good night. And don't forget the chips. It's not bad. No, I like that. That's one. pretty yeah, good. That was good. Yeah, I didn't realize that uh, Peyton and Eli Manning still lived with their parents. I didn't. Uh, wow. I didn't realize they lived in the basement. <laughs> yeah. Still. Yeah. You know, kind of weird. Yeah, kind of, kind of weird. Since they're both multimillionaires <laughs> and uh, have their own families, uh, it is strange. It, is, it does <laughs> seem strange, doesn't it? Yeah, they're still hanging out, throwing the football around in the in their jammies. Right. Uh, in still their parents' basement. Still getting from the dad. Yeah, weird. That's weird. Uh, all right, and here's the uh, number one Super Bowl ad uh, from GM. Did you know that Norway sells way more electric cars per capita than the U.S.? Norway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't stand for it. Come on. Ah, never mind. With GM's new Ultium battery, we're going to crush those losers. Crush them! Let's go, America. <laughs> Keenan, Norway's out EVing us. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's my daughter's birthday. She's really into pirates lately. I don't lately. care. Grab an EV, <laughs> meet me in Norway. <laughs> Can I say goodbye to my family? Nope. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ah! Aquafina, sorry to disturb you, but Norway's beating us at EVs. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Meet me there in an hour. Can I ride with you? No! GM's Ultium battery is made for all types of vehicles, so soon everyone can drive an EV. Oh! Why don't we all just go together? No one will, he's probably flying private. (laughs) Hey, Norway, listen up, you fish loving! Oh, this place is adorable. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) Where are you guys? We're in Finland, where are you? I'm in Norway. Norway? You're in Sweden. Damn it! We're coming, Norway. Uh, so See? now they know. I know. We're coming. I know. Look out. Uh, look out. <laughs> Watch look out. out. We're going to buy more electric vehicles. Can't wait. That saves the planet because they get electricity from Can't pixie wait. dust. The bl- hmm. You know what's kind of fun is that the uh, Washington Post <laughs> is asking some interesting questions right now. Well, they're you know um, they're a journalistic entity, <laughs> right? 
And, and they, they, they want to get to the truth. Thank you. That's what, you know? They're known for the truth. They're known. Well, democracy dies in darkness. We know that. Thank you. Right? Thank you. And uh, so they want to shine some light on where exactly this Wuhan flu came from. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They want to find out. Uh, about this darn disease that we're dealing with. Did they just become racist? Apparently they did, yeah. Because they're looking at, uh, they're looking right at uh, China. (laughs) And they're (laughs) investigating China as maybe the source of the Wuhan flu. Is this some sort of revelation? Uh, Yes, it is to them because now uh, Donald Trump is gone, so they can ask the question finally. Yeah, before it was really Trump's disease, right? But but now they want to find out where it really came from. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah, it is. It's great. We need to know. It's more than good. It's it's great. (laughs) Uh, A World Health Organization team has launched its. First of all, let me read the first the opening sentence from the uh, Washington Post story. What is China trying to hide about the origins of the pandemic and why? Are you kidding me? What? After a freaking year. After a full year now. Over a year. Now you're going to ask that question. Now. Really? You've got to be kidding me. In Wuhan, a world organization team has launched its investigation into the origins of the virus that has affected infected 105 million people worldwide and cost 2.2 million lives over the last year. The terms of reference for the investigation say it will be open-minded and not excluding any hypothesis about the origins of the virus. Many scientists have speculated that the virus leaped from animals such as bats to humans, perhaps with an intermediate uh, stop in another animal. This kind of zoonotic spillover has occurred before, such as in West Africa with Ebola. But there's another pathway. Oh, no. Also plausible. Really? That must be investigated. Oh, must it? Since when? Must it? Since when must it be investigated? <laughs> These people are oh, shameless. They're just absolutely shameless. That is the possibility of a laboratory accident oh, or leak. no. Yeah. Yeah, it could have involved a virus that was improperly disposed of or perhaps infected a laboratory worker who then passed it on to others. Now, that was a conspiracy theory that we won't even listen to. Right, we were shut down. You're a racist piece of crap for even bringing it up. Up until now. And and remember remember the great uh, Governor Cuomo. I didn't come from China, it came from Europe. Came from Europe. Right. Yeah, yeah, shutting. I mean, yes. telling people, calling people stupid for saying it came from China. <laughs> These people are despicable. Agonizing. They're despicable. Wuhan, with a population of 11 million, isn't that something? Though, a, a city that until a year ago you'd never heard of. I've never heard of Wuhan, China. Oh, he's 11 a- million people live in it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I got a timeshare there. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right in downtown Wuhan. Ah, is it beautiful this it, time of year? I'm up, it's about 14 floors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. looks out across downtown. Nice. Gorgeous. Nice. It's a major transportation hub and a center of the virus studies in China with at least six facilities with BSL-3 laboratories for handling infectious agents. Published papers show that some of these institutions have been very active in coronavirus research. What? Huh. The most active is the Wuhan Institute of Virology. <laughs> Not the same one we've been talking about for a year, is it? <laughs> man, I'll tell you what. The investigative reporting oh, going geez, on right man. now from the Washington Post is in-depth. It's powerful. Yeah. It's brave. It's courageous is what it is. Can you believe this? I I mean, unless I was looking right at it, I wouldn't believe it. So obvious is this uh, attempt now to really find out where the... Now yeah. that Trump oh, now. is gone, now now that Trump's gone, uh, now we can, I right. guess, find out where it really came from. Huh. Unbelievable. It's really so, unbelievable. Yes. It's remarkable that the hatred for Trump is now, oh, we're done with that. Mm-hmm. We're 
Mm-hmm. What? Uh, no, we never were like that at all. We were just caring for the democracy and making things right. But now we need to know. Yeah. Uh, really something. I mean, just despicable. That, that's a good so, word. That's a good word to call these people. Yeah. I mean, it's so blatantly obvious. They they don't have any shame. They don't, they're not. I, I guess they're not capable of being embarrassed or ashamed in any way because you would at least, I don't know, wait a, another year or two or whatever when every other avenue you're looking down uh, turns out to be a dead end. When everything else you look at, because uh, we can't imagine it came from China, so we're going to look down this avenue and that one and, and another one, and, and we're going to look at every possible way we can blame this on the United States of America. And when that doesn't pan out... Why, maybe then we'll go to China. No, a year later, only after Trump is out of office, now they're catching on to the fact that it came from Wuhan, China, which everybody knew in the first place. Every single living person on this planet knew it came from (laughs) Wuhan. Why? Because that's where it started and everybody knows it. (laughs) The first infections were all in Wuhan. So I kind of doubt that it came from Boise or Pocatello. We don't know that, right? Though. We don't know that, and we should investigate that. <laughs> Jeez, it's again they're despicable and so obvious. Uh, by the way, Antifa members marched through D.C. last night, and well, threat- it was the night before. Was it? Uh, it was the night before, and, okay. and it was just you know I find it interesting that uh, you know we had the the horrific uh, siege on the Capitol, mm-hmm. and uh, you know the people went after went to the Capitol, went to the Capitol straight to the Capitol, and uh, you know they went after the source. But now we have the peaceful protests marching through the streets of yes. Washington D.C. And here's what and, they were- and they're spreading words of unity. Yes, they were. And love and peace. Yeah, it- our streets, what are they saying? Uh, burn it down. Burn it down. Okay. Uh, burn it down. I mean, in a peaceful way, though, right? In you a peaceful know, way. They want to burn it down it peacefully. Burn, burn it all down. Yeah, because we saw a lot of uh, peaceful burnings uh, during the just, Antifa riots, just or, riots over the summer. Um, That's so. what we want. It's just burn it down. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's all, though. That's all. Yeah, just burn down D.C. Huh. But investigate Donald Trump, please, and prosecute him today uh, for uh, yeah. you know inciting the riot Thank in you. Washington, D.C. Because <clears throat> yes. that certainly wasn't planned in advance. No, he told him, go directly to the Capitol and start breaking windows and dragging people out of there. Remember that? I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you I mean, don't, because it didn't actually happen. Oh, so okay. That's I, probably I why. Maybe I missed, <laughs> I maybe I missed it. Uh, I and, mean, look, these. Yes. With the the capital siege, you know, we talked last week about uh, we, you know, how AOC was going on and on about how scared she was. Yes, and, and she wasn't even there. Was, and she wasn't even there. I love and that And then story. she tried to come back saying that, uh, well, let's not forget that there were pipe bombs all over the complex. There were two. Uh, <laughs> two. Count them. They were all over them. One, two. We still don't but know. But they surrounded our buildings. They we surrounded st- the building. We still don't know where those pipe bombs came from or who planted them. No, we don't. Right. We know that the police officer. Oh, this is amazing. Are you t- the, the cop that got killed. Which we've heard a million times. Not the police officers that committed suicide. Right. There's two officers that committed suicide. But the police, but the police officer that got killed at the riot by these by these mobs, these vicious mobs, one of them bashed him in the head with a fire extinguisher. Right. Uh, I mean, that's what we heard. No, that didn't that's happen. That's what we heard. They now know, after the autopsy, it didn't happen. Medical examiners did not find signs that the officer sustained any blunt force trauma. None. So the investigators believe early reports that he was fatally struck by a fire extinguisher are not true. Uh, It's like in the uh, bottom of a CNN story that they, I mean, you would think that since they've been talking about this cop the whole time and talking about how evil the mob is who killed him, 
uh, they might want to mention that, I don't know, before the end of the stinking story no, about they, the guy. They mentioned it eight or nine paragraphs in. Yeah, Pat, what do you want? eight paragraphs down. Jeez, that's unbelievable. They have not released. Uh, I'm sorry. They, they, his, the, the cause of his death is not known. It's not known, which but means I think that he could is. have died of a heart attack. Right, right. Like the other people who died there, except for the woman who was shot by a police officer. They're looking into the possibility that uh, Sidenick became violently ill after coming in contact with a chemical irritant, such as pepper spray or bear spray, but... They're just trying to determine. Which was fired by the police. And they're trying to determine uh, maybe he had a pre-existing medical condition that negatively affected him during the Capitol riot. Gosh, this is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. So that crowd has been blamed for his death. And that's the only death you can can point to to say that this was a murderous mob and they didn't kill him, it looks like now. They did not kill him anybody when they were there no one was killed by the mob well this you mean you're talking about this armed insurrection yeah yeah the coup the which wasn't armed and wasn't a coup it was a rowdy it was a riot you can call it a riot yeah i think they they broke they vandalized things they overran the capitol building but they didn't they didn't hurt really or kill anybody they didn't beat anybody to death or or beat them senseless they did not kill the police officer it looks like now there's no blunt force trauma yeah they have and since they have it makes you think that they do know uh to me oh i'm sure they do they just don't want to say now. no way they can't say now they don't want to say after 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 all after after, a month of making this out to be a murderous i mean we put him on the pedestal of the you know he's out that him lie in state and now we're going to say, oh, no, that's nothing. That's not, never mind. Right. Never mind. Sorry. They won't, they won't even say that, no though. Way. CNN will never retract no all the garbage they've spewed. Way. They have vomited out garbage about this uh, this group of people that. And I look, I mean, I completely condemn the people who broke in there and, and broke windows and knocked down doors and forced their way into the Capitol building. They should not have done it. I really wish they hadn't. It's completely taken the high ground away from us. And uh, I hate that it happened. And I didn't want anybody to get hurt. And people did. T- people died, but of natural causes, it looks like, except for the woman who was shot dead by a police officer. But this group of people killed no one. Right. No one. It's just unbelievable. It's un- It's unbelievable. <laughs> And we have heard nothing but their garbage about revolution and insurrection for a month now. I know. All right. uh, Let me tell you about Omega XL. If you're in pain and you tried a million different things, nothing really works, uh, please try Omega XL. These are the Omega fatty acids that come from uh, the sea life in the pristine waters of New Zealand. And they put it into a compact, tiny little gel cap that's so easy to swallow. It's really not going to give you any problems at all. Um, You could actually take it without water, uh, and I do. But it's a fantastic pill, and uh, it's not a drug. So it's not going to get you hooked on something that your body becomes dependent on. It just has an off switch. It has essentially an off switch for inflammation. And once it turns off the inflammation, the pain goes away. It's, it's really great. Get your life back uh, with Omega XL. We'll get you started with when you buy one bottle, you get a second bottle free. So you buy one, you get your second one free. OmegaXL.com slash Pat. That's OmegaXL.com slash Pat. Or you can call 800-844-4888. Gray Unleashed. I mean, this police officer story should lead every single newscast today. Every single newscast. It sure should. And, and I'll tell you another thing. They have not they have not charged anyone. They arrested somebody for throwing the fire extinguisher. They've not charged him because they can't prove he hit anybody. Apparently prove, he didn't. They can't prove it. he hit anyone. Right. Apparently he didn't. They don't even know. 
if this police officer was in the group that the fire extinguisher was thrown at. Wow. They Jeez. say that it was it was Capitol Police officers there, but they don't know that he was in that group. It's incredible. It seriously is. <laughs> it really is. And we've never heard the other three people who died, what they died from. They just said it was health issues. Yeah, right. Oh, I, I thought we right? did know the one. I think the heart one attack. was a heart attack. Yeah, Yeah, but I, what, and, what about all three of them? I... I don't think we've ever heard, I'm have not we? Sure, but I, but we know that the two other police officers were suicides. Yeah, the, that. they, yeah, they died later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they were you know, they they were still part of the siege, though. You know, so that you know their yeah, deaths are totaled mm, into that. No, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> but they it's are nothing to do with it. <laughs> but they are. Okay, but they, they can't. No, you can't have those two. Yeah. No. I'm sorry. No. But they, no, no, that's a there, separate though. issue. Those are both separate issues. No, they're not, though, because the they officers are. were there yeah. part of the siege. They yeah. were involved. Okay, in. so the siege made them commit suicide for some reason? Correct. Okay, sure. Well, that's, that's what they want. I know that's what they want. I'm not giving it to them. <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry. You, you can't They've have it. They've already that. taken it. Bro. You, no, you They've can't take it. They've already taken it. No, I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back from you. Taking it right out of your hands. No, you can't, can't have that. He's all. You can't have it. Nope. (laughs) I mean, it is sad and tragic that they committed suicide. Absolutely. But you can't blame that on the mob thing at the Capitol building. Oh, no. People rushed to the Capitol building. I can't live anymore. Come on now. Come on. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. No, you can't have it. No, I'm taking it back. I told you I'm taking it back. You can't have it. (laughs) They cannot have it. 888 900 Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Great to have you with us. 888 900 I just I can't believe football season's over. I know. <clears throat> I just I can't believe it. Man, that goes by fast. You mean the season that we weren't supposed to have? Yeah. That was... Uh... And turned out to be great. Turned out to be an awesome. It was a pretty good season. At least for me, it was a great College season. College and NFL. College was awesome. And NFL was pretty good. Pretty good season for yeah. everybody. Really fun season with BYU. Really good season with the Packers until, you know, two weeks ago uh, when they <laughs> lost to the stupid Bucks by five. I know. Ah, they had them too. They could. They had so many chances to win that game. So then the Bucks go on to win the Super Bowl by a lot. Fire the cannons, baby. 31 to 9. Tom Brady. At the helm, and the three people they were. That's interesting. The three people, uh, Gronk, and uh, Antonio Brown, and Fournay. Those three mm-hmm. guys, Brady single-handedly brought to Tampa. Right. Who scored the touchdowns last night? Those, those three, three guys. Yeah, Gronk had a great game. Yes, he did. He's kind of been written off. It's like he's washed up or something. Yeah, Brady loves him. Oh, he's mostly a blocker now. He's yeah, he mostly can't. He's faster than he was in New England. Seems Did you that know way. that? He looks that way. He is that way. He is faster now than when he uh, played in New England. Weird. Is that weird? Yeah. yeah. He's been working out, I guess. I, the guy works he's out like a madman. Right. And he's he's stark raving crazy. So, uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But he's a fun guy. Yes. And you and know he, what I don't know anybody who doesn't like Gronk. Side, just a side note of the Tampa Bay Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blaine Gabbert now has a Super Bowl victory ring. Blaine Gabbert, the Blaine, backup quarterback. Blaine's behind. the backup yeah. to Brady? Yeah. It's, uh, that was a victory Super Bowl. Good for ring. him. He deserves that it. That one freaking hurts. What a super good quarterback. That one hurts. <laughs> Doesn't lot. it, though? That one hurts a lot. Yeah, it kind of does. Uh, let's see. We've got some uh, tweets here from the Steve 42. Notice how the music in those commercials was mostly 20 to 30 years old? Just saying. Yeah, because well, the music today sucks. Yeah, just a little side note there for you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Comrade Snoobage reporting for duty, D O O D I E. See what they did. Duty. Reporting duty. It's a duty. Uh, GM brought to you by government bailouts. And they promise there's no tracking microphones in any vehicle sold in a red state. <laughs> From Jimmy Dimples, I also heard WAPO found a tectonic plate intersection to blame for all the earthquakes for the past four years. They call it Trump's fault. <laughs> I'll see myself Yeah, out. no kidding. <laughs> That's good stuff. Uh, rowdy introvert, I'm a little skeptical that Jeffy really has a timeshare in China. I don't think China, I don't think China has lodging uh, suitable for a man of Jeffy's stature and girth. 
See, I think what he's saying there is understand. that, uh, yeah, you're a little overweight, I think is what, it, but why what the point of that is. That you're overweight. I wouldn't you know have what I mean? a place for me. I don't know. I guess. I don't. They, they don't have people as fat as you over there, I guess. I think seems to be the implication. That's what the tweet is saying? I think yeah. so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tobin for Pope campaign. Someone should remind the NFL that their purpose in our lives is to help us escape all the depressing crap that's going on in the world, not to amplify it. Yes. Well, they. I mean, they <laughs> certainly feel different about that. I they mean, really do. Yes, they, they really do. are self-righteous now, the NFL. Yes, they oh, are. man, they think they are just world changers. Uh, if I want to contemplate my sins, I'll go to church. <clears throat> yeah. You won't and go to the NFL for that? We huh? have to talk a little bit about the Supreme Court in California. Speaking of churches, too, we got to get to that a little bit. All right. And uh, Carl Smith tweets, uh, don't you know that March, that March to the Capitol are code words telling the mob to smash their way into the Capitol building uh, yeah. where, you, where burn it down is a call to hold hands and <laughs> sing Kumbaya. That's, that's almost true. Almost. I mean, that feels almost <clears throat> true for sure, man. Well, yeah. Nobody's talking about the Antif- Antifa bull crap nope, where they're care. chanting, burn it down. You know, the Super Bowl last night was, uh, it was some of the shots that they had were really amazing. Uh, they had the, you know, the film movie cameras taking shots. But I looked at the list of their uh, camera breakdown. So the 120 cameras from the ground to the air. 18, 18 robotic cameras, 32 cameras embedded into eight end zone pylons, two wireless pylon cameras along mm-hmm. the sidelines, 19 television mobile units, 350 plus rec- record and playback channels, three sky cams, fly cams, one trolley cam, one movie bird crane, 25 super slow motion angles, 12 cameras with 4K and 8K capabilities for enhanced replay angles. Wait, there's 8K now? I did, I, I'm just getting used to 4K. There's 8K now? Where you been, bro? I mean, there's actually, I mean. Wow. I don't know. I've been slumming it with wow. 4K, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I suppose you think that, uh, I suppose you think coronavirus came from China. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What a maroon. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> so they had one camera too, and they used it during the halftime show that just, it had to be going 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, and it was above yeah, above the the uh, field and I I don't know how they did that either. It was awesome. Uh really amazing stuff. Yeah, really really incredible. It was also incredible how people jumped all over uh, Tom Brady last night because he walked into the stadium. It was naked face. Amazing. I don't know if we if we ever did get the the video of it cuz I saw it on Twitter last night. And it's from someone who doesn't allow me to see her tweets after I see it. Uh huh. So I'm not sure if we ever got the video. But this Lisa Hendricks uh, tweeted out, showed him walking into the stadium. And Tom Brady could have used his platform to wear a mask and be a role model for responsible behavior. But no, he had to be a mask hole. <laughs> Brother. And they show him walking into the stadium without a mask on. I love him. I love him for that. I do too. I like it. I mean, I love him for that. And notice, good for him. I don't know if I don't know if the NFL ever ends up finding the Tom Brady, but you know, I know that you're supposed to have a mask on when you sit on the sidelines. He never wears one of the mask. Tom Brady's not putting a stupid mask on. <laughs> don't blame yeah, I'm him. Sorry, I don't either. Why should he? I don't either. He's around those people every day. It's asinine <laughs> that they make him do that. Silly. You're in a you're in a sports competition at the highest level. I don't need a mask. To uh, interfere with my breathing process? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, He's I'm a, not doing it either. If I'm if I'm Tom Brady, I'm not doing that either. I, no doubt. I don't want to wear one either. You can scream and yell and cry about it all you want. I don't care. I mean, and the other players are following you know protocol. Obviously, they're putting masks on. But yeah, I love that Tom is like dumb. Oh, no. It's asinine. No. Find me, do whatever you want. But I'm not. I'm not doing. It. Yeah. Well, they've they find him in the past. He's been fined before. I mean, I, whatever. Here's, here's uh, but but I don't think they find him this year for the for the no mask wearing. At least I didn't hear about. I it. didn't hear they it did. either. I didn't hear that he was getting fined either. I mean, yeah. so I mean, it must be we look the other way at Tom. They find Gruden, a couple times, John Gruden, a bunch for it, and different players for the Raiders too. <clears throat> yeah, and they found the Raiders for celebrations in the locker room. Ridiculous. For yeah, it's their locker room, and they're all. I don't know if you know this. 
they're around each other every day. And they take, I'll bet you, they test for coronavirus every day. No, they, I think, every I day. think they pretty much were testing every day. Every but, day. Yeah, yeah. So they know they don't have it. So why would they need the mask in the locker room? <laughs> so stupid. It's just asinine. Can we stop and maybe get, I don't know, a little common sense? Well, I mean, in Tampa proved to be a super spreader event these past couple of weeks. Uh, in particular, this past few days yeah, uh, when the Super Bowl got closer to the game time. I mean, they were partying in Tampa Bay. Uh, oh, no. Through, uh, well. Don't say that. Well, don't Don't say that. Okay, but they were. Oh, no. They were. And no. CNN reporter was really upset over and she, it. And she was double masked, she, uh, I think, right? She makes a point of... Ta- yeah. Pause for just a <laughs> Before we get to the CNN double masking thing, uh-huh. CBS drives me insane with their Super Bowl coverage. I Honestly, I thought that Jim Nance and Tony Romo would have masks on in mm. the booth. It was nice that they did not. I love that they didn't because they're reporters... Who's around? No one. Yeah, nobody's there. On the sidelines. Nobody's They're there. They're wearing masks. Take your mask off. We wanna, I know. We want to hear your report. Right. We want to understand what you're speaking about. Mm-hmm. Please, take your mask mm-hmm. off. We don't need nope. to hear your report for the sideline like this. Nope. And Pete Brady is a person who doesn't get anything. You can't get anything today. That's for you, kid. We didn't get any of that, Puddin'. Um, nope. so <laughs> no, nope. it just drives me insane. <laughs> it's it's again asinine. But this report from CNN from Tampa, good uh, stuff. She's a little upset. Yeah, she's a little upset. Uh, you're enjoying all this excitement there in person. What are you seeing and hearing ahead of tonight's big game? Well, Anna, we're trying to enjoy it safely. Uh, we are at the poorhouse in Tampa, the poor, huh? which is a very lively uh, it, Look at double mask. Double Pause masked. it for a second. She makes a point. Two Randy, masks. Randy K. makes a point. I'm double masked. And she's doing a report on a microphone with uh, speaking through not one, but uh, two. two masks. You idiot. You moron. All right, let's see the rest. In Tampa, which is a very lively uh, bar and restaurant, which is why I'm double masked. But if you take a look here at the scene uh, behind me, you can see look at that, that a lot scene. of people are here. Horrifying. They're gathered, they're all Horrifying. Ready, uh, look at there's a, for their a naked team. face person right there. <laughs> oh my there. gosh. So naked face. Considered to be safer. Naked. Uh, and they are allowed to be here. They're only supposed they to are allowed to be here. <laughs> drinking, but you can see uh, okay. quite a large crowd. Certainly uh, not yeah. all. One single family or one single household. How do you know? (laughs) Pause it for a second. How do you know? You don't know where they came from. She doesn't. No, she doesn't doesn't. know. Could be one family. Could be one really big family. Yeah, we've all had large family reunions. (laughs) Could be. They might live in one monstrous house together. (laughs) You don't know. Correct. Or they could be packed into a small house like sardines. You don't know, pumpkin. You don't know. Now she goes on, and she, she'll we'll pick it up where she goes into Ybor City the night before, which is just a, a an area in Tampa where they. I mean, it's a so big like party, a party area, yeah, right? Yeah, restaurants, bars, all of it's really, and they've mm-hmm. they fixed it up. So I mean, it's a it's a big time <laughs> party area in, in Tampa, mm-hmm. and it's a separate you know Ybor City. It's called a one single family or one single household that are mixing, but that is allowed here in the city of Tampa right now. But let me show you a scene from last night oh, no. in an area called Ybor no. City. We have some video to show yeah, you. Ugly. You can see it's on ugly. the streets of Ybor City. You can see it. This massive crowd. Look at Again, that. Not many of them wearing. Not a mask. many. This is a very popular spot where uh, people go to bars and restaurants. Yeah. There yeah. were some police there, uh, but we're unsure. Not many. About I'm going to show you a, a shot here where everyone's wearing a mask, but I'm going to say that many are. What are you doing about this? Because a lot of people. We're very concerned. Apparently, the dance floors were full, and that's oh, no. right now not allowed during the pandemic. Um, is that true in Florida? Well, I, I don't know. She said that they are, and she said in, later in that report, uh, just to be, <clears throat> wraps it up saying, I spoke to the Tampa Police Department wondering what they were doing about it. What do you want them to do about it? Oh, throw them Start all in cracking jail? skulls? Yes. Let's let's yes. go in there with batons and start cracking skulls. Yes. When the, Wear a sa- mask. the same network, the same reporter, when are we going to get back to normal? How dare these people for being normal? Yeah. All right. 
Right. Same kind of thing. Wasn't it CNN or CNBC, I guess, uh, that was doing the the report on the Florida grocery store late last week? Yes. Do we have that? Let's. Uh, oh, my gosh. I think that was Shep Smith. It was just lost his mind. Lost his mind over it. Here it is. Or not. Or not. Oh, no. All right. We're still getting that one. Oh, OK. But, you know, they showed people just shopping. At a grocery store, being friendly to each other, and no masks. So they wanted everyone to die. Obviously. Uh, thank you. Now, I think the rules are a little different in Florida, aren't they? It's, well, I mean, That's yeah, why DeSantis, DeSantis is, is not, getting so much flack. Uh, that's right. Because he's not cracking down on everybody who doesn't wear a mask. He's not putting people in prison for not wearing a mask. Because, he, you know, he's said all along... Um, People need to make their own decisions. Yeah. Yeah. What a what a concept. What a horrific concept. <laughs> Let people make their own decisions. Hmm. hmm. Sounds like a sounds like a death plan to me. Ah, uh, thank you. That's what and, it sounds I mean, like. The stadium <clears throat> last night, while it it holds, you know, seventy thousand, only had about twenty six thousand in it. Yeah. But the, I love the uh, the cardboard cutouts that people thirty thousand of them. At a hundred bucks a pop, I think it was. Oh, really? Oh, wow! Uh, so you could buy, you know, you could buy. So you could put your of, face on yeah. it. Yeah. So you, and and you get uh, in the end. I think if you bought a cardboard cutout, you go into a, a drawing for Super Bowl tickets next year in L.A. Uh, yeah. So I mean, they're going to give you an opportunity to purchase more tickets. Wow! Thank you. Isn't that special? That's really special. I, yeah, I really thought it is. was nice of the NFL. Uh, it did look a little full, though. Because of the ca- yeah. cardboard yeah, cutouts the cardboard with the actual helped. people, yeah. it did kind yes, of fill in the, the stadium. Yeah, it did. It looked good. It helped. Yeah, it helped a lot. Uh, all right. If you're trying to sell your home, you know what a challenge that can be. It is it is difficult to get your <clears throat> home sold uh, on time and for the most amount of money. If it starts to stretch out into months and six months to a year, uh, then the price starts to go down and then it can get really ugly, like it did with Glenn's house in Connecticut, where he wound up selling that thing for $39.87. $39.87. It was just really tragic. It was worth a little bit more than that. It was worth a little bit more than $39.87. Yeah, it was worth a little bit more than that. Yeah, it was. And uh, he held out as long as he could. He finally got it for up from thirty nine dollars even to thirty nine eighty seven. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't want that to happen to you, which is why he put together this network of real estate agents in um, markets all across the country. His people uh, closely vet them so that they know that they got really good track records and marketing plans and that they can really help you sell your home on time and for the most amount of money. And they're all fans of the show. So you're going to have that going for you when you're around them. Realestateagentsitrust.com. The name really says it all. Go to realestateagentsitrust.com. That's realestateagentsitrust.com. 888-933-93. Got some tweets here at Pat Unleashed. Uh, many C, many CJU. Uh, Brady made a reporter get closer and said, come closer, I can't hear you. Yeah, that was at the the uh, ceremony at the end mm-hmm. uh, when they were up on stage. And, of course, yep. you know, they have the Brady and the coach and everybody way down at the other end of the stage. And uh, I guess it was... Uh, was that Nance that was mm-hmm. given uh, down the stage? He was obviously masked up because he was outside of the studio. Mm-hmm. And CBS makes their reporters wear the masks. Um, and they were like, I can't hear you. What are you talking about? Come over here. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. From Adam Snyder, I was really hoping to see Stu in the background of the CNN report. Yeah, it would have been fun. Uh, he actually made it in. Yeah, he was there. He was I, there. I don't know how he does it every time, especially this year. That's amazing. He was there in the corner at <clears throat> Raymond James, baby. Do you know if he had the tickets in hand when he went? I do not. I don't either. They usually don't. I know. They usually don't. I so know. I would guess that maybe this year they did. Maybe. Uh, because of the difficulty of yeah, accessing it was, them. Uh, it was a really restricted crowd. Yeah. They only had about 25,000 people there. Uh, CNN is more shocked by, this is from uh, Jimmy Dimples, uh, CNN is more shocked by bare faces celebrating the game than by the dope that streaked it. 
course, he wasn't. I don't streaking. think he was. I don't he, think, I don't he, think was he was naked. Was he? he? I, I I think he just ran on the field. I thought he just was <laughs> running on the field. Yeah, I didn't uh, think that he was streaking. The footage, obviously, you know, the network pulls away. Yeah, but I saw the footage stupid. from uh, from people's cell phone uh, videos, and it didn't look uh, like he was streaking. Uh, from data warning. Is double masking a cause or a sign of brain damage? <laughs> because if you're double masking after all the evidence to the contrary, there's something wrong with you. Very true. Uh, the deplorable Mr. Jack Wagon tweets, Pat, how dare you show those <laughs> pornographic naked faces? <laughs> I want to apologize. blurred every one of them. Yeah, yeah. we apologize. I, yeah, we do. You shouldn't have to see pe- people's faces anymore. shouldn't have to do that. Uh, chewing the fat... Chewing the Jeff with Fatty, uh, you would think, listening to the Pop-Tart from CNN, uh, that she was reporting from the killing fields. <laughs> no kidding. It did sound like it she's sure did. literally in Cambodia under Paul Pot. And uh, <laughs> there was just this horrific scene of people everywhere. What I loved is, dead. Is, what's her face uh, mm-hmm. back at the studio was all happy, like, hey, you're at the Super Bowl, you're having fun, mm-hmm. what's going on? I people are her. here. People are here with naked faces. I am so scared. I'm so, so scared. I went to the Tampa Police Department and asked what they were doing. And we had the, we had the same thing happen with Shep Smith last week on CNBC when they went to a Florida grocery store. Now, look, Florida has their own thing going, and it's going well, by the way. They're getting back to normal life in Florida. Really? It's going well? Yeah, it is. It's going really well in Florida. Yeah, look at their numbers compared to, to California. Let's say some of the footage I saw last night, and I, I don't, I'm, I thought it was from Florida that people were walking into the stadium at Raymond James Stadium mm-hmm. over bodies. Oh wow, like over, stepping over, yeah, over, dead, over bodies. dead bodies. Yeah, wow. Well, I think the same thing happened at that grocery store because we look all at this. fantasize about a time when we won't have to wear the masks anymore. Right. It's not Shout. now. It's but not some now. at it's a not. supermarket mm-hmm. in Florida mm-hmm. appear to have decided that the time is now. No. Look at this. This was the oh. scene at Oaks Farm Seed and to Table Market in Naples today. Help me! NBC Sam Brock no! took this video, which went viral. Please, it no! looks like it was taken pre Don't show me right? anymore, Chef. Most customers and employees Help! not wearing masks Help at me! all. They're killing us! Except there were customers uh, wearing was, masks in the store. Yeah, a lot of dead bodies there. The store's too. policy includes Get mask this. exemption guidelines. Oh, wow. The sign says if you have a medical condition that you don't have to wear a mask, and mm-hmm. nobody inside will ask about medical conditions, so masks are not enforced. <laughs> the owner told Sam Brock this when questioned about the policy. Okay. Is yeah. your position then about medical exemptions, or is it about Al the Fields. fact that you don't think masks work and that the virus well, is not a real thing? I know that the masks don't work, and I know that the virus <laughs> has not has not killed 400,000 people in this country. That's, that's total hogwash. Florida does oh, not boy. have a mask mandate, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, masks do work. The science masks is crystal do clear. Work. No, in the July, science, the CDC that, no, it does not. The United yeah. States could Stop get it. COVID I can't take any more from this guy. That's a flat-out lie. That's an absolute bald face lie from Shepard Smith. The science is not clear that masks do work. Correct. I mean, even if they do, it's barely, barely. Correct. I mean, there's almost no difference between wearing a mask and not wearing a mask. It was like 0.3% difference when they did the study in uh, Netherlands. Yeah, yeah the, that, was, that was a while ago now. But, I mean, we've... It was in December or November. November, December last year. I apologize. It seems yeah. like so long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, how old were you back then? I don't know. You don't know I, now, I, so you certainly, certainly don't know about then. Know then. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, uh, the ship's uh, big uh, heartbreak of no one wearing masks, the last shot of people in the grocery store showed people wearing masks. Yeah, some so people did. Some people were wearing mm-hmm. masks. Yeah. And if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. Right. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. And by the way, if you don't want to be around anybody not wearing a mask, don't go in that grocery store. Go somewhere else. (laughs) Okay? Where everybody's got a mask on. So what you're saying is that people should make decisions on their own? That's kind of what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, it's it's a weird Weird. concept called uh, um, freedom. I think it's the word I'm groping for. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a... 
like an antiquated concept, though, so nobody <laughs> follows it anymore. Freedom. Yeah, it's a silly, silly notion. Forget I ever said anything okay. about it, okay? <laughs> That's me. Uh, and also, uh, Jeffy is here filling in for Keith, who's just got some surgery. And instead of having to get uh, two screws or whatever into his leg yeah, and hip. in four. He, they, they got four, yeah. So he wasn't feeling great. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Sure. <laughs> it's very sympathetic. I know. Thank well, you, Jeffy. That that. I care. Yeah. I we we all know that. We we can feel that. Thank you. Uh, all right. We got some tweets here. Panther Blue tweets. I live in Florida. All COVID restrictions were lifted months ago. <laughs> That's what I thought. DeSantis got legislation passed preventing local governments from enforcing mask mandates without providing supporting data. <clears throat> Still required by some businesses, though. Right. Jeez. And that's why they were walking over dead <clears throat> bodies to get into the stadium. Exactly. That's right. That's right. From Tampa, Ken. So Dr. Flouchy said the next six weeks is critical, just like the past six weeks and the six weeks before that. Yeah, he uh, says it every time, all the time. From uh, Crystal from Apocalypse USA. I would love to see a Gnome and DeSantis president, vice president, 2024 ticket. Any order, but they'd be a great team. Uh, the Long and Winding Road tweets, I'm self-identifying now uh, to be a non-masker. <laughs> yes. You're not allowed to do that. That's the one thing you can't self-identify as. No, you can't. No, it's, uh, that's illegal. So. Not in today's world. <clears throat> nope. Hey, this is great so. news. <clears throat> Joe Biden and the Biden administration moving to put us back today into uh, the UN Human Rights Council. Isn't Excellent. Finally, finally. The Biden administration is moving today to rejoin the UN Human Rights Council nearly three years after President Donald J. Trump withdrew the United States from it. Bastard. Isn't that great? Yeah, so we're in, back in the Paris Accord, back in the WHO. Uh, we're going to get back into the Iranian treaty. So what's next? What other anti-American organization can this guy get us back into? Can we hook up with ISIS next or maybe Al-Qaeda or both? Maybe we can start a three-way little group of our own, the United States, ISIS, and Al-Qaeda. Uh, and <laughs> come nice. up with some nice arrangements there with That'd them. Be nice. I know they just nice. dropped. Didn't they just drop a terrorist <laughs> designation on one of the one of the groups? Uh probably. Uh, mm, I, can't I don't know who it was. But they certainly I know they did. I know they dropped a terrorist designation on one of them. And you know, of course they should because why do you want to keep terrorists <sighs> designated right. as terrorists? No, that you don't just, you don't want to. Just, that'd be dumb. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to do that at all. <laughs> you don't want to do that. What you want to do is have, like, American political prisoners right now. That's what you kind of want to do. Um, in September 2019, Cooey Griffin, founder of Cowboys for Trump, met with President Trump in the Oval Office. His group, according to the websites, uh, believes securing our border, protecting our Second Amendment, and protecting the lives of the unborn are the most vital and key aspects in America's greatness. Trump supporters riding on horseback, often carrying American flags and Trump banners, participated in rallies across the country to show support for the president. Now, today, Griffin sits in a jail cell, denied bail. <clears throat> wow. Prosecutors charged him with one minor... Well, he went to the January 6th oh, thing. There you go. But he did not go into the Capitol building. So... Well, that's what they're saying. So, so, so you're a Trump supporter, aren't you? Well, yeah. Okay, then you're sitting sit in that jail without bail. So, I mean, that's why Bank of America was, you know, helping the FBI with anybody that was using their uh, cards at ATMs in DC or, or any 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 stores, any hotels without any a warrant. The, well, they were just being nice. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No warrant necessary. Gonna, of course, just they were going to help the FBI. Help yourself. Yeah. Well, we'll tell you whatever you want. That is unbelievable. If you're a Bank of America customer, you might want to keep that in mind. And maybe uh, not be a Bank of America customer anymore. Seriously. I know. That's unbelievable. 
Uh, so they've charged Griffin with one minor count of trespassing. Oh. One minor count of trespassing. Well, you can't expect to get bail from that. They say he was well within the restricted area. So he was somewhere on the grass, you know, around the Capitol building. But he never went in. He didn't go in. He didn't break anything. He didn't cause any kind of trouble. He, he wasn't vandalizing the property. Didn't assault a police officer. Didn't do any of that. Trespassing. Didn't, he didn't steal anybody's laptop. And he's still sitting in jail. Still sitting in jail. <clears throat> and he's been denied bail. Why? Because <clears throat> he doesn't believe in the outcome of the election. So he's, I mean, isn't that essentially a political prisoner? Yeah. Yeah, I think so That's too. That's exactly what it is. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Magistrate Judge Zia Faraqui, who was uh, neither appointed by the president nor confirmed by the Senate, concurred. She said this is an offense that at bottom was an attempt to stop democracy from moving forward Ugh. because people were unhappy about the results of the election. I don't think that the defendant will follow my conditions if he believes I'm part of the machine of this democratic process. That's how she's uh, justifying denying him bail. So if you think that, mm -hmm. then okay. There's no need to follow the law. Right. Right. Don't even... I mean, this is a misdemeanor. It's a misdemeanor. And the guy's sitting in jail over it. We're letting out murderers. Yeah. Actual oh, many. murderers. Yeah, out many. Out of jail. Uh-huh. And this guy's still sitting there? That's <sighs> true. ridiculous. That's Three it's unconscionable ridiculous. is what it is. But we did get some good news. Oh, good. Uh, over the weekend. <clears throat> uh, the what? Supreme Court said that churches in California can uh, go back to being churches. Well, just, sort of. Just 25%. Kind of. Yeah. You could have 25%, 25%. capacity. That's it, though. And uh, you can revisit it if you want, but we don't, probably shouldn't be singing or choiring or anything. So We're not. Okay, yeah, you can't sing or yeah, chant, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can go to church if you want. 25% of you. So that's good. <laughs> Everybody was touting this as such a great thing. I, it was, did not sound great to me. No, it's it, well, it's not great. It did not it's sound great not. to me at all. I mean, Chief Justice John Roberts said that federal courts owe significant deference to politically accountable officials. And if you just stop there, I would say uh, no. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to public health restrictions. But he said deference has its limits. Does it, Chief Justice John Roberts? It doesn't does it? seem to. Uh, based on his rulings, it doesn't seem to. That's for sure. It doesn't seem to at <clears throat> all. Jeez. Um, you know, they talk about um, uh, <laughs> uh, Chief Justice uh, Elena Kagan, or I mean <clears throat> Justice Elena Kagan, wrote in her dissent a saying that uh, uh, risks worsening the pandemic if we allow this to happen. Um, if we allow, what, 50% of people to go to church? Making or a special, 75% or 100% capacity. The court was making a special exception for worship services rather than treating them like other activities where large groups of people come together in close proximity huh. for extended periods of time. Treating them like a, a special group when, I don't know, it's specifically <laughs> spelled out in the First <laughs> Amendment. That seems appropriate to me. Oh, it's just uh, unbelievable. Uh, it's amazing. Is unbelievable? Uh, all right. Let me tell you about um, Brooker's Founding Flavors ice cream. We, could, uh, yeah, we could love this stuff. We could use some right now. No doubt. It makes everything better. Seriously. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. But if you have a pint of uh, Brooker's Founding Flavors ice cream, it just makes it all better. I mean, it, it doesn't fix any of the problems. It just makes you care about it less because you're enjoying the deliciousness of the ice cream for a few minutes. Oh, it's great. Uh, it's not the artificially flavored, pumped full of air junk that you buy at the grocery store and it's maybe 8% or 10% butterfat. This is the really super creamy, high quality stuff yeah. that's 16% butterfat plus. If you've noticed when you get the ice cream from the, let's say, the grocery shelf mm -hmm. and you find yourself eating the entire gallon, mm -hmm. just, you know. A lot of people, uh, not me, I'm using this as hypothetical, sure. or just to sit down and eat the gallon. Yeah. And yeah. You, you think to yourself, wow, I can 
down, I get down a whole gallon. Of cake. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no. Uh, no. Not with the Brookers. No, this is dense. Uh, it's hand packed. It's really dense and delicious. And again, with the 16% butter fat, oh, just so creamy and delicious. Um, and I've been to their ice cream parlors in Utah, which are really fun. You walk into it like a colonial tavern from 1776, but you, you don't have to live in Utah anymore to experience them. You can get them anywhere. Uh, go to brookers.com, brookers ice, ice cream. cream.com yes. specifically, and then click on the ship nationwide tab, and you are going to love these flavors. They, right now, they've got a really great flavor for Valentine's Day. Marie Antoinette, let them eat red velvet cake flavor. Perfect for Valentine's. Brookersicecream.com. Click on the ship nationwide tab. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. So the good news from the United Nations, uh, welcome back to Pat Gray Unleashed, by the way. The good news from the United Nations, well, the UN Women Twitter account, the mm-hmm. verified UN Woman Twitter account, mm-hmm. uh, tweeted out uh, five things we must normalize for men. Okay. This is good. So you ready to follow this? Mm-hmm. Five things we need we to, normalize to normalize for men. Okay. Crying. Yeah. Oh, that's really Sharing nice. the care. Sharing the care. Showing emotions. Uh, okay. Seeking help. Seeking help. Sharing feelings. Oh, man. We're talking about men here, right? So. We're talking about men? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. <laughs> so that's good. She wants uh, men to do those things. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got to normalize all of that. A couple that. people responded to that tweet <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, saying uh, 1.2 billion of U.S. taxpayer dollars at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. And the next was, I share my feelings all the time. For example, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's That's just something stuff. we need to. I know. Yeah. That's, that's something that we need to. You know, care about, it. and it's good that we really care about what the UN says these days. Yeah, and because we're we're paying them one point two billion dollars for that more, kind of I mean, advice. Whatever. Yeah, I that's mean, true. I mean, I'm we sh- foot the I'm whole sh- bill for the stupid yes. UN. Let's just be honest about it. Yes, but the good news is is that we don't have that evil orange man, right? Bad mouthing them anymore. Thank heaven, thank heaven, because we can't have that. He's been amazingly quiet, by the way, since leaving office, hasn't he? course where are you going to hear about him because he, well he's yeah. taken off twitter he's off of facebook i mean i guess he's having meetings and stuff i know that he has uh i mean he told sag after he's no longer part of sag after anymore no i saw that sad. yeah he resigned from sag after i don't blame great. him i don't either they vote they want they were under the impression that uh you know he had uh, attacked the values of the union uh he had, in fact they quoted uh donald trump attacked the values this union holds most sacred democracy truth <laughs> respect for okay. our fellow americans oh, of all right. races and faiths yeah and the sanctity of the free press oh shut up so donald trump said i no longer wish to be associated with your union and uh, they commented right away thank you <laughs> <laughs> i love their comment they just replied thank you he sent him a letter saying, get out of here. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Good. I know. I know. I was really happy Good. about that. Uh, so in the Senate, our majority leader, uh, Chucky Schumer, and uh, several of his minions Love are him. now trying to get rid of student debt and let us just pay for it, the taxpayers. Uh, yeah, we can just pay for it and wipe out all student debt for everybody. Here's what they had to say the other day. We are here today to introduce our proposal to cancel $50,000 in student debt. Yay! Yeah. yeah. And take a huge burden <laughs> a off huge so one? many people in America. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. College should be a ladder up. All right. For too many Not, people, it's, debt is the anchor that huh. weighs them down. All right. Did the, were they forced into it? Who Now, I want to know what college administrator came to them, put a gun to their head, and said, you must come to my school... And you must pay $50,000 a year to go there. Probably, and I say probably because I don't know this. Mm-hmm. All of them. All of them. Every, every single 
person who's in debt to a college was forced into it by some preda- predatory lender. That's, yes. Am I right? Yes, the yes. predatory universities. The predators that came after them <laughs> and forced them into these incredible debt. Somehow that didn't happen to me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have I I never had $50,000 in student debt. Wow. Now I've had $50,000 in other kinds of debt. Me too. <laughs> and I would like to have my debt erased. Oh man. By the way, there was a time when I would have loved it if you would have erased my credit card debt. No, I, I please erase it for me. Uh, there Nobody was did. a time. I'd like to say there is a time. Nobody stepped up and did that for me. I had to work on that myself. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So you had to drag around that anchor. I did. That's dragging you. I did. <laughs> from those predatory lenders. Yep. And universities. And just uh, <sighs> pay off your own debt. You know, there are options. Weird. There are options. You could go to trade school. You can go to a community college. You can go to a a cheap university school that wouldn't cost you $50,000 to get through. Isn't that weird? You could also, here's a, here's a concept. Save your money before you go to school. Hmm. Oh. What if you were to do some, I don't know, work <laughs> when you're in your teens and then you save some money <laughs> so that you can Pay for school. <laughs> what about that? Huh? Well, I mean, that's what the universities huh. don't want you to do, right? I mean, they no, want, they don't want you. They to want do you that. To, to go make. They <clears throat> want to make the deal direct from high school to the university, so that you aren't you aren't thinking because a if you say you're going to take a couple years mm-hmm. and get a job or work and save some of money, as you were saying, I know you were talking about even before uh, reaching. College yeah, I'm age. talking about in high school, right? But uh, so you take a couple of years off. Maybe you decide after a couple of years, I don't need college. Yeah, huh? Some of us. No, we can't. Did that very no. thing? No, that can. No, that can't happen. Be. No, because I got a job in high school. Really? Yeah, and I started working it, and it became full time, and I started making more money than my friends who were going really? to school. <laughs> and I thought, see, I- huh. What if I just do this? See, I worked in high school like that, but it was yeah. part time. Uh-huh. And you can't live on part time. No, I, I you knew can't. that I was part time, and there's no way. No, no, no I couldn't no have way. a family. <clears throat> I couldn't. I couldn't have a roof. So you over thought that my was going to be your job your whole life, <laughs> right? And the and the roof yeah. that I had over my head, I knew uh-huh. I couldn't keep that roof over my head. No, you can't. No, no. So I moved on, right, and got another job. Oh, what a concept! I, well, I know, hmm. and then. And did that one turn out a little no, better? No, it didn't. It, didn't. it was still hmm. it didn't still turn crappy. Out well at all. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, <laughs> I got another job. <laughs> okay, you got another job. I did. I did, and now that the, turned out better. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Who? Good. I mean, I still had that anchor Whew. that wasn't a loan from the university, but right. I'd like to have that debt paid off too, please, oh, Senator man. Schumer. I it, it drives me out of my my I've told the story of my brother before. I mean m- my brother my our, our parents couldn't afford to send us to college. Um and so if we wanted to go to college, we had to earn our way. Right. And my brother worked like three jobs or something. He worked as a janitor. He had a wife and a small baby and he was going to school all at the same time and yeah. paid his way through. My uh, I, and I, I'm sure that I I've talked about my dad before too, but <clears throat> you know, he was talked about all the time how he went to the University of Nebraska and he enrolled and, and re-enrolled three or four times mm-hmm. uh because he couldn't afford it. Yeah. And he would work, and that he happens. had the wife, and then he started his family, and he would work, and he would save. Yep. There's that word you used again. Save. Yeah, what and, a concept. Uh, and no, that, that can't happen I anymore, I, I guess. I don't it's, like that word. Personally, I don't like that word. It's antiquated. You can't do it anymore. And uh, <clears throat> believe me, I understand that. <clears throat> uh, and he would go back. And mm-hmm. then, he would, then, he would, then he would. And he couldn't do it again, so he'd stop. And then he'd go back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amazingly. He got through. No. And graduated from the university. Uh, that's impossible. That can't happen. <laughs> I, some people have said that. I mean, my my brother would come home from uh, college. He would he would come for Christmas break because he wasn't going to be stopped. He was going to get home. And so he'd pack up his family 
and they had they had a oh, car. Yeah, the car with the hole in it. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah. hole in the floorboard. Yeah. With the hole in the floorboard. Because that's all that they could afford. That's all they could afford. And he drove that stupid car, however, I don't know, 700 miles from Boise to Helena in freezing freaking cold temperatures back before global warming, if you remember. <laughs> It used to get cold on this planet. It doesn't anymore. Well, of it didn't get once you put cardboard over the hole. You're good. <laughs> oh yeah, then you're warm, then you're toasty, fine. toasty warm. But it's like you can't ask anybody to make any sort of sacrifice no, no sacrifices. anymore. Right? No. Sacrifices. I'm sorry. Take my debt from me. I'm really pissed off that I went to school and I accrued this debt, but I got a great education for it, and now I don't want to pay for it. I Tough. Know. I-, I shouldn't have to pay for your college experience but the thing is is that when i signed that paper and they told me that they were going to charge me interest on this money and Mm -hmm. i said yeah sure no problem because i want to go to this university now i don't want to have to pay that yeah right and here's the thing uh the universities get a complete pass on all of they sure do you know what the university the top 20 universities endowment is if you add up the endowment of the top 20 schools, this is all the money they have in the bank. That's their endowment. Their endowment is are gifts given to them by their uh, by by the uh, alumni. Right. The alumni give them massive amounts of money because they think the, well, any, any alumni that's successful yes, they always give them money. gives money back to the university. So Harvard has an endowment of $40 billion. That's University it, of Texas in Austin has like $30 billion. Uh, a lot of it in gold. Gold bullion. <laughs> the top 20 universities have $600 billion. Oh, yeah. That's almost two thirds of a trillion dollars, and they get a big pass. Aside from that, when the government uh, okayed the student loans, when they backed the student loans, that was like telling the universities, "Charge what you want, right? Charge what you want. It's okay, exactly." No and you know, if you, if you want to give free college, all right, tell the universities use your endowment for that and pay for these students at Harvard. They could send 25,000 students to Harvard for free every single year for 25 years and still have money left over. Is that a lot? Yeah, it seems like a lot to me. Uh, They have 25,000 students on campus. They could all go free this year and for the next 25 years on their stupid endowment. (laughs) But no, we're going to have to pay for it. Right, right. I'm sorry. Uh, no. Yeah, I know that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but no. Sounds good, but... But it's not going to happen with these Democrats. With these stinking Democrats that we have to deal with for the next two years until we can get rid of some of them and maybe get some sanity back in Congress. Please let it be so. Wow. I mean, we've got to... In 2022, we've got to change this thing. We've got to get back the House and the Senate. Have to. All right. That's a fun start to the week. Wasn't it? <laughs> a fun start to the week. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow here on Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.